Okay, welcome to your next tutorial. For some reason, my other tutorial didn't entirely record right, so I'm starting over. Um, and this will be making a pause screen. And I just want to go through this fast because I really don't want to do this again. Notice I made a pause screen.png. Use this PNG is because this is kind of a complex um, pause splash, so it's a PNG. First thing I need to show you is menu. Right click, refractor, rename, and rename it to menu. Um, main menu. Okay, one more thing um, I also want to do take this, refractor, um, move, and just type in menu, and it'll move it. Notice if you run it, you still don't get errors, or um, maybe you do. As I said, I already. Um, done this tutorial and then it didn't record right so I have to do it again and then you see H still move correctly right okay really quick uh, really quickly let's just make a static boolean pause equals false and over here in the drawer menu um, we're going to be making another draw called if um and this is going to draw the pause screen if pause dar dot draw image and we do not want that much menu dot um get pause screen we didn't make that method yet um as you can see it's giving us an error that's good um 250 150 it will draw the um, pause screen somewhere in the middle yeah I, I'm sorry I don't sound so enthusiastic my other tutorial was great and then it didn't record so I'm really upset right now pause screen um, and then just copy this paste there pause right um, or um, pause image pause image and then my I named mine pause green dot png so I'm going not pg and png like that um, run it if it gives us an error okay it doesn't Notice as our um, pause screen doesn't join a uh, draw yet. Also notice as it, this does not have return. The reason is because if you're drawing the main menu, you're drawing over everything, and with a um, pause screen, you just want to draw a little over part of it. In fact, we need to move this after this. And that way it draws everything then it draws a pause on top of it just like we draw the background first so you can draw everything else on top of it okay over here now um, we're going to make it so if you press escape or no well, let's press P because that's when I press escape I don't know if that might nah, that might have been why I wasn't recording right okay so um, how you would do that is after the menu dot menu main or main menu because we know that if the main menu is false, then it does the rest of this. Otherwise, it returns. So this will only work if the main menu is not on. So if um, no, wait, hold on. If keys equals key event dot vkp or p menu dot um, pause equals the opposite of what it already is and this what this basically does it says okay menu.pause equals the opposite or what menu.pause is not because this is a not operator it means take the value that this is not and set it to equal to itself might be a little confusing <clears throat> um let me just run it real fast and I'm going to show you guys the image later after I make sure it's perfect okay so we got that okay 
one more thing we have to do and in the input key events you have to return because if you don't you'll still be able to walk and stuff while it's paused because that makes sense you know oh it's paused well you can still move too so the whole reason why we return to this is so that you can't update your player one more thing we have to do and I know I'm rushing this just do um, menu dot pause so if the main menu ain't or is paused don't don't update anything because that way if your player is in the air we don't want it updating we just want it you know have it static for instance if you run it press H move and now for the awesome pause menu I made for you guys press P I can't move and pressing my keys as much as I want but it's paused and as you can see there's mushrooms and I don't know why I picked those okay and that was your tutorial on how to make a pause menu um, next tutorial we'll be learning about how to jump and until then see you later